A great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. This is when we use Ladiator's powers of engineering and smarts and decades of using the internet and digikey.com to help you find what you're looking for. Ladiator, what's on the great search this week? This week, I'm looking for a smaller package for a power P channel MOSFET that I use for the power supply on my feather boards because I wanted to shrink my feather board down to make it a little smaller. And traditionally, I use a SOT 23 P channel FET, uh, but let's look at what I used instead. So at the computer. Okay, so this is the um, original feather design that I'm going to shrink down a little bit. Um, this is a standard SOT 23 uh, channel P FET. I use the DMG 3415 or 2305 free standard. Um, the important things for me are they can pass uh, a lot of current, so at least two amps. Um, even though in this particular case, it doesn't pass that much current. It passes maybe like, you know, a one amp um, peak. But oftentimes, I use this same part in a couple different spots in the design. So I, I want to make sure that it still maintains that high spec. Um, it also should have very low RDS on. Some P, fan, P channel FETs have like, you know, two, three ohms. I want this to be 50 micro, sorry, 50 milli ohms or less. I also want a pretty low VGS threshold. So what is the voltage required to turn it on? Uh, should be about a volt or less because I'm dealing with three volt logic and often the VGS is like, you know, spec'd at like less than a milliamp of current. So, you know, I want to make sure that I'm well above that. Uh, and again, I want smaller than the SOP 23 I've got here. So, um, and you know, the other thing like VDS, you know, in this case it's 20 volts. So basically I just want like a smaller version of this. SOT 23 is, is kind of the standard size for small power transistors. You know, you're, you tend to go that, or maybe SOT 223, um, and then you get into like the power DI package sizes, but you know, SOT 23 is very standard. So I want something smaller, um, but not BGA. Cause again, BGA is, you know, not great for my, um, workflow. I want something that's like a you know, DFN or QFN or whatever, but smaller uh, and similar specs to this. So this is the part that I tend, you know, I've, I've used historically. You can see why there's a lot in stock. Uh, you know, it's a very popular part for many people. 20 volt, four amp, SOT 23. Um, again, you know, about 50 milliohms RDS on. And I'm gonna get a little bigger. Hold on, sorry. Uh, 50 milliohm RDS on, um, 20 volt drain to source, four amps continuous. It doesn't need to be four amps continuous, but you know, I tend to use this for a couple different things. Um, VGS on is about a volt or less. I don't care as much about gate charge or input capacitance because I I'm not turning this on fast. I'm not using this as like a switcher. Um, I'm usually like turning it on, it's keeping it on or turning it off and keeping it off. So I don't care. The capacitance affects how quickly you can turn it on or off um so you have to pull current on and off the um the fet capacitor but in this case it's not that important okay so let's go for a surface mount so i'm going to find similar stuff a surface fat mount active p channel mosfet um the rest of the specs i'm going to just sort of do manually so let's see what we've got My internet's a little slow, but hopefully we'll uh, we'll be able to look it up. If not, I will just go to the. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um. All right. So let's look at what the specs that are important to me are. So first, I want it to be in stock. Um. Thankfully, the chip shortage has calmed down a little bit. You can actually get some parts. Um, I don't want marketplace uh, components. Um, warehouse, I'm not worried about. Uh, let's see. So VGS, uh, that's, that was something that's important. And, and it there's you can see that it quickly goes up to two, three, five volts, especially if you want, you know, the, the bigger um, transistors. But I want something, again, you know, roughly about a volt or less. So I'm going to select that. Um, for RDS on, um, you can see, you know, they can get pretty high. I don't want like, you know, you can see that there's some that are like, you know, five ohm or more. 
Uh, I'm going to try to stick to, you know, 50. You know, the, the one I looked at before that I'm comparing this to was 52 milliohms. So I'm going to keep it nice and small. And I'm going to wait for the, this thing to update. All right, so now we're down to like 153 options. Um, the drain to source voltage, you know, that's how much voltage you can switch. For this particular um, board, the feather, everything is three volts. You know, whoop. let me try again. Um, for for my uh, feather design, it's uh, three volts, but I, you know, I use this in my metros that are switching 12 volts. So I'm going to, um, I'm still going to stick with like 12 or more. I think eight's a little low because often I have a nine, you know, I have nine volts somewhere in my um, setup. 12 volts is pretty common. And then let me try again to apply. And you can see that there's a lot of SOT 23s. This is very common. Okay. So, okay, I've got those filters going. So next thing is I want to filter out all the SOT 23s because, you know, the only thing is I've got about 150 options, 150 results here. And the first up is that DMG 2305. Again, that part that I would get the most of. And there's tons in stock and it's, it's low cost. Um, but I want to not have the SOT 23 size because it's too big. So let's go to device supplier package. There's also package case. I think I'll do package case. So I don't want any TO um, SOT 233s or TO size chips. These are too big. I'll kind of pick everything um, above here. Because I don't want the BGA. I don't want the SOT 23 variant. Um, I don't want the power DFNs because those are kind of big and I don't want the SOICs or TSOPs, but I think the others are good. Let me see if those come up. Okay, great. So, um, now you've got some smaller chips. So the, the thing is actually each one is kind of, they kind of come in like all different sizes and shapes. There's a few common size if you go to the right you can see the sizes uh, and some of them at least they are pretty clear like for example this one says two by two so it's gonna be two by two millimeters this is 20 by 15 which is smaller that's two by 1.5 millimeters um you know there's micro fat basically let's look at because now we still have like 66 results which is less but it's still you know quite a few let's look at pricing at 5,000 pieces. So it looks like uh, Toshiba has a couple really good options. Basically, you're going to pay 10 cents for this transistor, which makes sense. It's kind of a nice transistor. Um, there are, you know, uh, a couple different sizes, but it looks like Two by two millimeter actually is not that much smaller than SOT 25. So what I did is I ended up deciding, you know, I'm going to stick, I'm going to deselect. Um, so I'm going to select, oh, hold on. I'm going to select all these, because these are the sub package types. I'm going to deselect two by two. So anything that was 20. Because so I was like, well, if I'm going to go 20, I might as well go with like, a, you know, it's not that much smaller than the SOT 23. So deselect all those. And then this is kind of getting intense. I've got like 15 filters going on here. Another thing I like to do is I like to filter by um, quantity and I go down. All right, so now I've filtered. And now I, I uh, oh wait, did I actually do the filter or did I click away? Hold on. Oops, I did not actually filter. One second. Let me redo that filtering. So deselect the two by two sizes. Okay. Oh, I forgot to click apply all. That's why. All right, let me let it chug. Okay. And then, so let's apply it. 
So I had a couple, there are a couple, there are two, two good options that I saw, basically. So one, I liked, um, this one was kind of nice up here. This is the um, UFM, which is actually kind of like a SOT 23 size, I think. And the, uh, hold on, let me check. There was a, there's still quite a few. Oh, I like the SSM series. That was the one that I was thought was kind of interesting. So it's quite a few of these SSM series. They come in a few different sizes. There's also um, DFN 1616, which was nice and small. UFM, I think, is actually about the same size as the SOT 23. But what I liked is when I started like filtering by quantity available, um, this actually popped up, which is the DMG 3415 UFY. And the reason I thought this was nice is that I actually already use the DMG 3415 in SOT23 in the same like situation. Like it's one of my alternative parts that I've used. So this is just the uh, DFN 2.0 by 1.5 version, which means it's it was basically like swapping compatible. It's just like shrunken down and had little pads. Um, one thing to note though, is compared to the DMG 3415, it's slightly less specification. Like it's not, it's not identical specifications. Um, but a lot of the important stuff is like, for example, the RDS on is nice and low 40 milli ohms. The gate threshold is one volt. Um, the VGS is, uh, eight volts. The only thing to watch out for, because I've used this before is that means if you're using it as an ideal input diode uh, for polarity protection, um, the VGS has to be the same as the VDS. So just be aware you can't use a uh, transistor with eight volt VGS max with like a nine to 12 volt power supply. But again, for this feather, it's three volts, so I'm good. So I ended up really liking this one and um, I spec'd it out and this is what it looks like. So, you know, compared to This is what the SOT 23 looks like, this is how big it is. And then that's the DFN. So you can see it's like, you know, about a third of the size. Um, the only downside is you can't route a trace through the middle here because there is, well, not without putting down like some silk screen, um, or, you know, to and no stop. But this is the thermal pad, so usually you want to um, keep it open. Also, this gap is pretty narrow here, and I actually made it a little bit wider. So you do have to have like a fairly, you can't use it with a um, rough PCB process. It has to be like 7, 7 mil or 6, 6 um, is better because of the, the gap is quite small. So I'm using this. I think it's going to work. Um, I like that it's the same like core part number. And it has almost the same specs. So I think this should um, let me make this design a lot smaller. I've moved that SOT23 and the MBR054 uh, up here and you know to the right here to clear up a lot of space. And that let me move this crystal to the left. Okay, it looks like the tiny, uh, looks like it has tiny side pads out. Possible to hand solder or is it way too small? I think you could, you could solder this by hand, but you'd want to use a little bit of paste and hot air check out the last great search for where we cover how to get uh hot air in a syringe sorry paste in a syringe for doing this kind of hot air or hot plate work okay that's a great search that's right where is